Hello everybody, True Mavis here, your 2 million G gamer. Welcome to another True Play. Today I'm bringing you a game called Robolifter. It is published and developed by Flying Islands team. It released on the 25th of November 2022 for a price of £4.99, $5.99 and €5.99. There is also a Windows 10 version as well as an Xbox version of this game priced the same so you can currently buy both versions and get two separate sets of achievements for a thousand gamer score each um there's a strong likelihood this game will get more achievements with title updates which they're allowed to add a thousand gamer score every six months um so do bear that in mind that there is likely to be more gamer score coming to this game as soon as they're able to do so so yeah, we're going to take a look at the game. I did play this back on my main account in November. Uh, so I am playing it through on an alternative account just so you can see the achievements pop again. As you can kind of see, it is worth uh, currently a thousand gamer score. You have to pass levels two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and find three secret key cards, which I can't for the life of me remember where they are, but we will figure it out together. So let's um, have a quick look at what settings we have. We just have sound settings, basically. Nothing to write home about there. And we're going to start the game. Thanks, Fibonacci. You are working. We have an emergency situation in our spaceship. What is if you heard a bit of croakiness in my voice or any sniveling? I am got a bit of a cold at the moment. I think the media Hopefully it doesn't spoil your enjoyment of the video. You are the only lifter that I could turn on. I need your help in repairing our ship so we can continue our journey. Let's start repairing our ship. Okay, that's literally level one. We are in one of the central hub. From here, you can have access to various sectors of the ship. Use a map for that. First of all, we need to repair reactors across the ship. Start when you are ready. Okay. So use the D-pad to control, we've got a uh, restart button which is Y and B to, um... oh this is the hub area, we're not actually in the level yet, my bad, there okay there we go. Errors in your operating system. So you just push the blocks basically and um, get to the exit, which is this thing here, power it up we and we're done. Stationary teleports are used for simple stuff such as boxes. It this one we push the box into the red teleporter, teleports it over here onto the red pad, push the box into the hole, form a bridge, and exit very straightforward. So we only have to complete like the first 10 levels or so for achievement purposes. I'm doing this from memory as well. Most of the reactors were located there. What does this do? Each repaired reactor helps me to open doors. Opens that door. Is that a box? That is a box. Okay. Do what I do. Uh, she next level done. Not all systems are working correctly after the ship's shutdown. It turned all the further sectors into labyrinth. So now we've got doors are blocking our way so we need
need to get this I blocks that off then we push can I walk through that no push that onto the red and there we go oh but I've messed myself up I think yeah I've done that wrong Reset. Not all systems are working correctly after the ship's shutdown. Uh, what if we... all the further sectors into labyrinth. Try to create your own path. Hmm. So I am doing this from memory, so do bear with me. Because if I push that. Hmm, it's done the same again, haven't I? Can we push? Can we pull? We can't pull, can we? No. Okay. Not all systems are working correctly after the ship's shutdown. It turned all the further sectors into labyrinths. <laughs> Ah. Try to create your own path. Yes. Stand on this. That pushes. Yeah, we've done it. <laughs> you press on the button and it pushes the piston, doesn't it? Other lifters got short circuited. Okay, now we need key I cards. Contact them. In this room, one of the doors is closed. So there you go, we got the blue key card. You can open it by placing a key card in the port. Yep, I'm one step ahead of you. Or not. Oh, this is the port. Sorry. I was going to put them in the doorway. My bad. There we go, that's that level completed. Okay, so block on there. Fortunately, we have some energy bridges here. Again, it's it's a simple game, but you know, simple things done well tends to be good and useful. So that's level seven completed. I've not seen where any secret keys could have been yet. We are getting closer to the middle sectors. We will get some help there. Okay. <clears throat> so that wall looks funny. Great. We are getting closer to the middle sectors. We will get some help there. Um Secret key. That indeed is the secret key number one. Not so secret. Uh, can I? I don't think I can complete the level now, though. <laughs> no, I can't complete the level now. Uh, can I? 
I say I, I may be able to. Yes, I can. No, I can't. No, I don't think I can. You are doing great. We are getting closer to the middle sectors. We will get some help there. Because I set that bridge off wrong. It needs to be in the middle like that. And then you can obviously gain access to this block. There you go. He in the slot opens the door and out we go. We're actually nearly done with this initial thousand. It doesn't take that long, and this is me figuring it out again. Just to show you how easy it is to actually play it. And what have I got left? Two achievements. I'm just going to get secret keys two and three, so we technically just have to keep playing until we find the secret keys. All of the reactors shoot out the energy element, which is strange. Do press the B button, My just to show you. As well, look, you can... Uh, if you press... Good day, oh. lifter. You go back to this level here. Look, you then can choose the levels. If you want to repeat a level or replay a level. Or search a level. So we're on level I've 10. Noticed, but there is something mesmerizing in the work of a teleport. Don't you think? Oh, well, well, there's the secret key. Oh. Don't do that, everybody. Noticed, but there is something mesmerizing in the work of a teleport. I guess we just do that. Yes, no, yep. <coughs> I guess we can't complete the level now. Never noticed, but there is something mesmerizing in the work of a teleport. Don't you think? Okay, I've probably messed that up now, haven't I? It was probably a better space I could have pushed that block to. Never noticed, but there is something mesmerizing in the work of a teleport. And actually, yeah, we could just we could just push it Don't back up, think. can't we? Okay, so that's there now. Um, this now has to go back on the blue, so I can get out. Um, so that red teleporter is going to teleport that up there. Do I have a key card yet? No, I don't. Oh, that's a yellow switch. Okay, now we push this onto the red switch. Disables the red shield. Gives me the key. We now have an orange barrier in the way though, so that's not good, obviously. Um, so yeah, we can just do, do that. This has served its purpose. I can go on there. You can't in the slot. And there we go, we're done. Right, where's this secret key? Oh. The pump shutdown caused a leak of synthetic oil in this room. Be careful, it is very slippery. Whoa, okay, it's slippery. Okay, that key's not needed. I wonder if that is the secret key. This is green as well. Oh my. The pump shutdown caused a leak of synthetic oil in this room. Be careful, it is very slippery. Let's have a look. Yep, okay, and that's it. That is, that is your thousand game score in a little under 15 minutes. That's just working it out from scratch off the top of my head as well. Um, so it's a very uh, it's a very good game. It's a very simplistic game. But as I always say, you know, simple things done well tend to be the most useful things in life. And um, that's what this is. It looks nice. It's got a nice little bit of story about it. You've got you've got voice acting. You've got a bit of story. And you've got some uh, solid puzzles. And if we um, if we go back to the main menu, 
and we don't do that if we go back to the main menu good day and look here we can see there's 30 levels as i say this is likely to get title updates i would imagine don't hold me to that 100 percent but um, there's a good chance it will get title updates, which will increase its uh, gamer score value uh, potentially up to 5,000 because that's the maximum you can go up to. Uh, but it was take a two, about two, two and a half years to get there. Um, and rem do remember it is available as a stack as well. It's available on Windows 10 as well. And I'll remind you on the price, it is £4.99, €5.99, $5.99. And there's two separate versions, one available for Xbox and uh, one available for Windows 10. So yeah, another very good uh, yet simple uh, in but enjoyable puzzle game. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one.